Hello and welcome to Wandering Wanda. I'm Ariel and I need to call the segment something so I've been thinking about it so it's going to be Travels with Titos. So we are traveling with the pumpkin. Pamanangking. Okay, that's Tagalog. For a lot of you that don't know, I'm Filipino and the official language, the national language of the Philippines is Tagalog. Come to think of it, almost every country in the entire world has a national language except for what? Guess what it is? The United States. I don't know why we don't have a referendum or pass a law saying that the national language of the United States is English. Stop placating to everyone else. The rest of the world does it. So anyway, going off on a tangent again. So, Travels with Tito, we are in, uh, no, Galveston. Galveston. We are in Galveston, this little one. My little one's so proud of her. Oh. So, with mom and dad, is going to Texas A&M. Yay! We're gonna be Aggies. We're Aggies from now on. Yay! Aggies! Find them. Okay, we're going off to breakfast because the hotel has a breakfast, but they have no meat. It's in the gravy. It's like who wants a freaking sort out their their meat inside a gravy? I'm a meatarian. Off to Denny's. There's our pumpkin. Yay! Our future Aggie. So we talked about really two different things. Campus size, campus located here in marine biology. Do you know a runner that you walked by? It's the marine biology boat. Oh, she'll be there a lot. So we're gonna walk this way here towards OCSB, where I will show you our sea life facility. He was actually in this tank right here. But everything you see in there, there's a different type of fish species current. And it had different types of crab, it had different types of jellyfish for doctor student research, etc. So there's always going to be opportunities for on place employment as well as professional growth for your choosing career. Close to 3,000 students live on campus. So in this hall, you might have 300 or 20, 320 or so. So the way it's set up, you have room A and B in a suite. So that means you have two students in A, two students in B, with a shared common space and a private bathroom. Now, not every room is set up as a suite. Some would just have like room A with two students and a private bathroom. Yeah. Or for upperclassmen or those with uh, special needs that need it, you could uh, acquire a single room, which there are very few single rooms on campus. So normally coming in as a freshman or an incoming sophomore with transfer credits, Chances of getting a single room pretty unlikely. Hear that? But the cool thing about a suite, now I like suite style living because even when I was in college, I had suite mates that was kind of set up just like this. You would have four in a suite, means more people to clean the bathroom. Now I've also had suite mates that didn't clean the bathroom. Oh. I don't talk to them anymore. So, so is there maid service? <laughs> so here we don't have custodial staff that comes through like main campus, so you have to clean your own bathrooms. I'm a firm believer, you can clean a bathroom, you can clean anything in life. But keep your rooms clean, try to. My background as well, I haven't always been in admissions or risk management. I did housing for some college campuses. I was a housing director. So even here, you have what are called housing coordinators and uh, RAs. They're the ones that this room to be running really very efficiently, 100%. That means they also do security checks. They're making sure you're not tampering with fire equipment. Stupid, they'll never do it. Even if you're like, oh, I want to get a cigarette in, don't do it. <laughs> I've seen some engineering students come in when I was at Arkansas Tech and even when I was at Oklahoma in housing, they rigged it with rubber maids, and I'm like, 
It's purple. I'm not stupid. I can see it. It's this big filtering system you guys have. It's very clever, actually, by the way. But you can't do that. So it's also the same with like your bathrooms. Like if they see and you have like black mold in your shower, it's nasty. Don't do that. And I was, I was telling one of the other families before, I <coughs> encountered many students in my time when I was in housing that had black mold in their room. Oh. It's nasty. That stuff can kill you if you don't treat it. But they're making sure you're being safe, you're not breaking rules, etc. Now, they're not just going to come through and rifle through your stuff. It doesn't work like that. It's controlled. Normally, you know when they're going to be there. They'll have a schedule to work with you. Now, these halls, we call them residence halls. We normally don't call them dorms because a dorm is a place where you go to sleep, you leave, go to class, come